What's up everyone, Dr. Dan over here. I uh, wanted to demo a new piece of equipment that we have at the clinic. This is the Hypervolt. It is a vibration or percussion gun, right? So if you've seen some of our other videos uh, dealing with like the Hypervibe, the whole body vibration, um, this gun is a little at home or in office, personal or friend assisted or doctor assisted tool that has a couple different speeds. It's a little loud there but it helps us to work out some of the tight muscles throughout the body, right? So as a chiropractor who does a lot of soft tissue work, I'm always using my hands to dig into some of the muscles up in the neck and the forearms and the back and the hips and all over the place. This is an awesome tool that we just started using a couple weeks ago that has helped to reduce some of the need for my hands and feels really good for the patient. And it does a lot of the same, uh, the same activity as what the hands do, right? So it helps us to reduce and release the tight muscles up in the neck. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. So with the Hypervolt on the back, there is a power button and there's basically three different speeds. One, little low. Two, speed picks up. Three, there we go. It gets a little louder, but the percussions get faster, right? So we're gonna go through Nick here. Nick's gonna be our demo for the day. He is a computer uh, computer guy, graphic designer, website developer. He gets a lot of tension up in the neck, the shoulders. Um, we'll do a little bit in his mid back. You, We did this briefly one time, correct? Mm -hmm. So Nick is a really tall guy. We've worked with him in the past on helping to engage some of his mid-back muscles, but I can already tell you, he's gonna be a little ticklish throughout here, maybe a little tender. So if he starts to jump around a little bit, you'll see that. The percussion therapy or the vibration therapy helps to stimulate the muscle, promoting blood flow, and ultimately should help to relax some of the tight muscles throughout the body. So I'm gonna start on level one, and if he can handle that pretty good and things feel good, we'll jump to level two. Most people, we start right at level two. And some of the problem areas, just before we even start, if we kind of zoom in on his back right here, um, neck, upper trap gets real tight, and we commonly will see, if you can see his scapula from here to here, there's a little bit of a wing. So we've talked to Nick about doing some gym exercises to help strengthen his lower traps, his mid lats right throughout here, or his upper lat area right here. As we work on reducing tension in the neck, we might get them adjusted here today also, and we'll see what this looks like post-treatment, all right? So let me jump right in here. We'll start on the right side, and this isn't too bad, right? So this is the low setting right now. Nick's a big, strong dude. We're gonna crank it up to level two, or setting two, right? And you can feel right off the bat how the increase in vibration or the increase in percussion is a little more intense. The speed increase allows us to get a little deeper down into the muscle and feels a little better, honestly, in my opinion. Sometimes we're gonna crank it up to three. Sometimes three for some people, depending on how hypersensitive or overly sensitive their muscles are. And you see how fast this thing's going here pretty quick. And what I use this tool for is to help, again, reduce a lot of muscle tension. So I've got a touch that I've developed as a chiropractor over the past number of years to find and feel where the tight areas are. If you listen to the gun, you can hear how the sound changes a little bit. Hear that sound here? First here. This muscle, probably not too sensitive, correct? Mm -hmm. Then we get up here. And this is where he's got some tension buildup, some fibrosis. And you can hear how that gun starts to change its sound. The tissue underneath the gun, it doesn't absorb vibration as well as some of the other tissue. So the tighter and the stiffer that muscles are, the less vibration they will absorb. If we don't absorb vibration, we can end up injuring ourselves. Look down for me. Now the other thing that I use this gun for is to feel, and right here around his shoulder blade, 
around his uh, upper angle, the superior angle, the scapula, we feel there's a big lump. You feel that lump in there, dude, huh? So we feel this yeah. big lump right around the shoulder blade. And that's a point of tension for a lot of people. The more we work on a computer, the more we get this tension throughout the neck, the upper back, ultimately can cause things like headaches, shoulder problems and pain, neck pain, back pain, all the bad stuff that we never want to feel. Sit up a little taller for me. And when I work with uh, clients and patients, I'm going to teach him throughout our treatment. Go ahead, sit up a little taller. And we're gonna to try to lower this right shoulder down, right? So you're hearing me say in all my videos, lower the shoulders, right? Become more lat active. Become more mid-back active. Learn to take tension out of your neck. Put it down into your lat. A little adjustment. Feel this thing right through here. Not tender? No. You got a little rib right there. Really? Feel that bump right in there? So, in my office, when I work with a chiropractic patient, obviously we do our exam and assessment. We figure out where the person needs work at. Um, but if you're, you have a trained professional, you should. Everybody should. I've been back to like, keep all the stress, right? Like right in there. Right in here, right? You'll feel once you get you down. I think it's because I'm tall too. Yes. But it goes into your row form. Yeah. And I tell you a little bit about like sometimes when we're doing ski at ski or the ski yard next door. Mm -hmm. Okay. So back to it. This vibration gun feels awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. It really helps to break up some of the fibrotic tissue, the tight tissue, the overworked, strained musculature up in the shoulder. Sit up a little taller. And you can see compared to initially. As we work on getting him to sit up a little straighter, every time I tell him, sit up a little straighter, sit up a little straighter, right there, we teach him how to kind of work on that lat activation. So, we talked a little bit about the wing scapula. Very important that we learn to utilize the muscles in the mid back right here to help keep the scapula packed or the shoulders a little tighter down here, less tight up here, right? All right, let's go face down on the table for me. All right, we got Nick face down. He was handling the third setting pretty good, right? Let me turn this off, actually. All right, so very common that people develop back, lower back pain, right? Lower back pain is so common. And basically, when I look at a patient, we've got neck, mid-back, low back, top of the pelvis, bottom of the pelvis, right? So neck, mid-back, low back, top of the pelvis, bottom of the pelvis. People end up with problems at the base of the neck and the upper back where we already did a little work up in his upper traps, levator scaps. A lot of people get weak in the mid-back and a lot of people get really tight in their deep lower back and their upper pelvis. Now, if you watched in other videos, um, we'll talk a lot about bridging and developing the lower glute and the lower hamstring. So many people get this tension, I'm gonna set this gun down, but so many people get this tension yeah. in their hip, That's right? Where mine is. That's where his is. That's where everybody's is, not just his. So many people develop overused IT bands, glute means, the muscles that kind of surround the lower back. Lots of people sit on their butt all day long. They kill their hamstrings, they kill their butt, and then we go to lift and we stand and we walk and we develop this chronic tension, okay? So we're gonna do a little uh, work with the hypervolt deep into his hip. So, which knee were you having pain in, right or left? Left. Left knee. All right. That's the one like I turned golf swing on for so many years. Okay, so golf swinging. All right, so we definitely feel both hips, but a little more there's a band on this left side. And the way that your muscles are oriented, you got your external rotators, the muscles that kind of turn the foot outward, okay? okay. And so many people end up with this chronic tension spot right up here in the lower. Uh, or excuse me, the lower back, the upper pelvis, as I explained. We're gonna go level two first, right? And where I'm at, I'm gonna pick your shirt up, okay? So, sacrum starts right here, right below his belt, right underneath his belt. And so we're on like the upper crest of the hip, or the ilium it's called.
get right there, man. And down here a little bit too. So yeah. I'm gonna actually crank it up. And I'm gonna go gently over his SI joint, right? So the SI joint is the sacroiliac joint. Sacrum is right here. Lots of people, if you've had low back pain, hip pain, you get tension that builds up here. Muscle work, very, very important to have done. Adjustments to the pelvis and the lower back. Super important to keep your, your bones, your hip bones, your back, your vertebrae. Things need to move. If they're tight, they don't move well. If they don't move well, you get sticky and stiff. And the stiffer you get, the more you hurt yourself, and the more pain you're in. Yeah, that's kind of that's right. Just breathe in. Abdominal deep belly breath in. Good job. Breath out. I'm gonna have you. Can you turn your leg in gently? So turn your foot in like that. And now relax your leg. So you can kind of hear how that gun starts to change its little tone. The more vibration, the more percussion that his hip muscles absorb, the less comes back up into the gun. So as we do this a couple times, maybe two, three appointments, two, three sessions, he'll notice that the tenderness, the ticklishness sometimes drastically decreases. Partly because we're flooding this area with blood flow. Okay, good on the left. Now, we know his other problem area is right up in his mid-back. So we're gonna go and just do a scan up and down mid-back, all right? So I'm gonna go start up here. And we're running alongside the spinous processes, right? So when I say scan, I'm just kind of feeling for tight areas. And this is gonna be that mid-back area right through here. Not too bad, right, man? Go right in here though a little baby bit. Feels awesome. Feels awesome, right? Yeah. Let me get a little disrupted. Right through his thoracolumbar area right here. So we feel there's a little bit. Doesn't hurt though, right man? Yeah. Awesome. Over to the right. Deep belly breath in as deep as you can. Good. Okay, I'm going to go very gently right over his spine processes, right over the vertebrae, right across and down. Spinous processes, nice and easy. We're using the soft head, not the hard one. So this hyperbole comes with a couple different attachments. And he's a little jammed up throughout this TL junction right in his lower back right here. So if we want to get this hip feeling awesome, we got to fix this vertebrae and muscle segment or complex right throughout this upper lumbar, lower thoracic spine.
Awesome. Okay, we're gonna come over to this right hip, right over sacrum. And a side joint here. Good. All right. Everybody's all jammed up in their outer hip, inner calf. We'll do this. All right, what's up guys? We just went through to the old whole body hyper vault. We did neck, mid back. We did his hips, a little bit down on his calves. We're gonna go ahead, get him adjusted. He actually feels pretty good today. Um, right SI joint and left we did a little hyper volt work in his left SI joint, but you feel the stuff down in here. He's got some crunchy junk, some fibrosis, as I say in every video, some tension around his left SI joint. He's had some left knee pain ongoing uh, throughout the golf season this summer, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you too much this summer, but all this left hip stuff, tension, irritation from swinging on that hip, asymmetry from not getting equal amounts of movement in the opposite or the non-dominant side all plays into muscle imbalance and ultimately stress. So the muscles up here in the hip, they kind of tighten and turn and then eventually starts to pull and cause compression and irritation down in the knee. Down in the knee. Bend up here for me. All right, back down. So we're gonna go through today. Nice little mid back, scooch down one inch for me. All right, we're gonna take deep breath in for me. Exhale out. All right, we're just kind of feeling, so he's a little twisted up on right neck here and left mid back slash neck, seat upper, upper thoracic spine right here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. We're gonna adjust, right? Breath in, breath out, whole way. Exhale out, whole way out, good. Breath in. Exhale out, whole way out. We're going right down his thoracic spine, just getting a little movement. All right, I'm gonna do a little mid back, or excuse me, CT junction, good. One more here, one more there. There we go, good. Okay, man, good stuff. All right, now, We did a little work in his lower back. I'm actually gonna dive in, do a little muscle work, okay, ma'am? Cause you can feel like this mm -hmm. stuff here. So can I pick your shirt up? Yeah. Right to about here. And if you can tell on the video, right through his lumbar spine, right like through here, we did a um, little muscle work with the hypervolt, that's why he's a little red, but he's actually real swollen right in this lower back area. And Lower back. I'm like even in the middle there. It's like starting to cramp up a little bit. Well, that's because we just loosened. You're yeah. cramping up here. Yep. That's where you need to. So pull your chin back gently. Try to feel those muscles tighten up a little bit. Cramping means inhibition, right? Inhibition means there's a weak connection. So if a muscle cramps, that means it needs to be worked more and more and more and more. Now, since we started to loosen up some of the tight areas, right, we are putting more tension or we're redistributing tension in your system. So we're just, and you can even see when I run my hand over right here, can you see that big thing right in there? And that's one of his erector muscles, see that? 
oh man, there's just a massive, you can see this like a little lump right here. And that's just a soft tissue swelling, a little bit of soft tissue swelling in his lumbar erector, QL muscle. And he can feel, you guys can't see or feel, but he can feel the tenderness, maybe maybe the tick, a little bit of ticklishness sometimes, a little bit of tenderness also though. No, it's more tender. More tender. And what I'm doing here is we use this lotion called Sombra. I'm just using my knuckles, which really helped me to get deep down into his lower back erector muscles where we get so much tension at. And if you have low back pain, you have muscle and joint and vertebrae dysfunction, right? So Big Nick here is a golfer and he does our rotational movement training a couple days a week, but he does have a little, little tension in that lower back, okay? All right. Okay, look up towards ceiling. Relax that upper. Good. Other side for me here. <clears throat> All right, a little twist here. Look up towards ceiling. We're gonna go hand right on that sore area. Relax that upper body. Breath in, breath out. Good, flatten your back. The the Cairo adjustments, the low back adjustments help to instantly promote range of motion in his lower back. And we got a little bit to move on the left side and a lot more to move on the right side. Now he also has had some tension in that left hip. Relax your head down for me. Okay. And so if you can see his feet down here, Right foot internally rotates pretty good. Left foot's not bad, but you feel how there's a little more tension in the lower left side. It's a cramping up here. It's like cramping. Why is it? Cramping means inhibition. Inhibition yeah, means no. muscle weakness. Bro, you're gonna have to cut some of those parts out. <laughs> I can't look like an idiot. It's a cramp. <laughs> that is I'm teaching. Okay. Gently turn your toes in for me. Straighten your knee. And we're gonna start to work his internal rotators. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to reach your leg towards me and I want you to turn in. Yeah. Feel? Yeah. Inhale, exhale, gently reach towards me and turn in. Okay? All right, now yeah. pull your hip into you. So pull into oh, you. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Now turn in gently. Turn, pull in and turn in. See how we're trying to identify those hip muscles? Yeah. So this will be something you work on tonight, flat like, on that's your what, back. Like when I'm rolling out and stuff, like I'll do that stuff with my, my legs. It just, right now it's... Yeah, well that's because we uh, did some work in your lower back. Yeah. Basically, he's he's like all bound up up here, right? So imagine yeah, if my shirt was all tightened up. We loosen it and then we put tension back into his system. So we help his muscles to work a little bit better, right? And when you look at the picture of the spiral line, we have it in some of the other videos. We can take a picture of it and put it on this video too. But the, the IT band and the lateral leg muscles, they kind of go up and they cross over, okay? Mm -hmm. So for you tonight, after we work on you, it's really important to go home and work on this internal rotation. Push towards me gently and just try to feel that lateral, take deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist in gently, just like that. So you might want to put your foot up on a foam roller and yeah. start to work this movement here, okay? And what that's gonna to help to do, as it already has done, is strengthen his internal rotators. Does this one feel like it's gonna do it also? Yeah. Twist in, push towards me. And just identify yep. and work that muscle, okay? This is gonna help that. As soon as it hits that point, it just cr cramps. Yeah. Well, that's its end range, right? So yeah. you wanna strengthen the end range. Mm -hmm. As we strengthen the end range, it's gonna help your hip elasticity to improve. So it's gonna make your hips more mobile, okay? Whoop. All right, so head down, shoulders down. Put your hands right on your hips, right down there like that. Okay, we're gonna go easy on the left. One here, shoulders down, relax your, one more here on the left now, relax your neck. All right. All right. Sit up tall, spin to left. Okay, so Nick, we went through a little hypervolt session. Did a little bit of mid-back work. 
He's got to work on his lats when he's not here in the office. When he's at work, he's got to work on compressing and squeezing down in his mid back. And he's got a couple hip exercises to work on. We're going to review those with him outside of the video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys on future videos.